On our mission to promote the travel and tourism in Bulgaria, we will bring you today to Asenovgrad, within the province of Plovdiv. About 60 kilometers from Asenovgrad is the wonderful bridges. They're just one of the many amazing natural sites within Bulgaria. The wonderful bridges are a natural rock formation made over many years, created by the destructive activity of the river water. In the past, the bridges were one complete cave. Over time, it collapsed to form a jaw-dropping beauty that these marble bridges are today. There are three bridges total, the largest being 100 meters high and 15 meters wide, the smallest one being around 30 meters, but this is inaccessible. There is a legend about the bridges that goes like this. A long time ago, in a nearby village, there was a dragon that was ravaging the local shepherd's herds. They came up with an ingenious idea to load a donkey full of tinder, set it on fire and sent it towards the dragon. The dragon ate the donkey and then the tinder slowly burnt inside him. This enraged the dragon and he flew away. He found a small hole in which to hide the huge mass of the dragon's body opened up a crack. The dragon got stuck inside and he died. After many more years and the body had decomposed, it left behind arc shapes in the rock. And this is how the legend says the bridges were formed. Okay, so where did you bring us now then? Now? Yeah, we're here on the wonderful bridges. <clears throat> Natural, wonderful bridges. Uh... Natural rock formation. Yeah, natural rock formation, and uh, it's around. Yeah, how long we drove? Maybe one. About forty minutes. Maybe forty minutes from Asenovgrad. Yes. And this just shows, depicts the beauty of Bulgaria completely. You can just see here the, the amazing things that Bulgaria has to show, to offer. This is one of the most, the, one of the greatest things about Bulgaria. I mean, the amazing nature, yeah. natural, natural thing. This is. Uh, it's really beautiful here. Very cold, the water's very cold. It's even icing over, there's icicles there, yeah? Yeah, but I just see some mushrooms over there, checked on the on oh, the, on the tree. Mushroom. Opportunity, maybe to pick some mushrooms. Yeah, later we'll make some photos there. And up there is the sauce, I believe, yeah? What? We'll go and have a look at the sauce later, yes, yeah? Yes, yes, exactly. The, this little stream running down. Yeah, there is a stream down and... Uh, so this water must be at least... I mean, if it's... it's freeze like this, it has to be minus... No, minus, no, yeah. it's not freezing, Garrett. It's just on the top. Natural ice cream on the stick. <laughs> you see? Look. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Can't just so you got the lick it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold? <laughs> so an actual an actual ice lolly. <laughs> Water. You're flavor. really licking it. But oh my pure, god! It's pure. It's pure. <laughs> Again, this is mountain water <coughs> coming straight down from the mountains, filtering through the rocks. This is pure water. There's no live scale inside, no nothing. It's just pure yeah. water. 100% H2O. A tea yeah. again? Yeah, we have tea again, of course, from the herbs from, from the from mountain. mountains. What, what else do you want? It's 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. And you can start getting back about 4 o'clock. 4.30, yes. 4.30, yes. because this, the mountains yeah, because we are in front of the mountains and the sun just goes behind the mountain. Go down. Behind the mountain and it starts to go back over. Yeah, you have you've seen in Asen of God. I mean yeah. at six o'clock it's dark already. It's dark already, yeah. Uh -huh. We're straight here on the gate to the mountains. This is why the Tsar Sen also yeah, built his, his 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 fortress here. Yes. You've got the border there, then the yes. mountains are there. Yes. And this was like the border, then yeah. it became Bulgaria. If for any enemies coming from outside. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So I don't, as I said to, to you, I don't want to say something wrong. Yeah, but it My wife so. is watching. Yeah, yeah, she, she or a lot of Bulgarians are watching. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure, quite yeah. sure about this. I'm into history. I like it. <clears throat> I like also the history of Bulgaria. I think yeah. it's a great history. Yeah. I it's mean, they were, history. they were they were like 500 yeah. years under the under Turkish. The as well, yeah. Yes. They the oldest nation in Europe. 
You know, officially under the flag, Bulgaria, yes. Bulgaria, since 681. Yes. Yeah, they became the ah, uh, country yes. of Bulgaria, you know. So they have a vast, a vast history as yes. Bulgarians. And, and the things even go further back than that. So thousands of years BC, yeah, do we have this? We have this Thracian Tomsi and everything, yes, which yes. is very interesting. I don't know if you have been on them. No, I've not been to one yet, but I will be going to one. Oh, soon. but there's one close to one, I think. You have to go. I think we are 200 meters under the uh, wonderful bridges now. Yeah. And this most of it took care of Bulgaria from the Rodope Mountains down to the Black Sea, Varna, where it's coming Garrett from. So, Petya, <coughs> this is for you, okay? We just also find this uh, big leaves here. And uh, I don't know exactly the name in Bulgarian, so if somebody knows what is the name of this in Bulgarian and in English and things, just comment it. Um, last time when I was in Wild City, yeah. in this uh, Konabata Wild City, yeah. I cooked chicken in this and then we made a hole. Right. And we left it there for 24 hours in the hole. Uh -huh. And we, it's called uh, Lugiska Forna. Uh -huh. It's like Hunter's Oven. Yes. And we cooked the chicken there and it was, <coughs> it was really, really um, tender and they also this, uh, this leaves, they are giving a special taste, taste right. which you cannot find normally. So if somebody, I have also my, um, I make a little bit of publicity for me now. Uh, if somebody wants that I come over for some cooking or something, which you can just book me over, you can see then, you can write me a private message on Facebook and everything and go shopping together. You tell me what you like. I know um, a lot of styles of cooking, kitchen. I mean, I can make sushi. <coughs> I, I was trained in France also. Trained in France and Germany. I was cooking in Spain. I was living in Portugal. So my real thing is uh, to cook with natural products. And if you want to see it, you can just book me. We will find out a, a nice price. I will not, I'm not this uh, expensive. Don't, don't, don't be afraid that I'm very expensive. No, I'm not. I'm just a normal guy. I'm just a chef, you know, and I love my job. So if you want to book me, you can book me. If I'm here in Bulgaria, I will come to your place, but I make it also worldwide. So 
maybe if you want in Germany, I come in Germany, flights are very cheap. So I come there, I come home to you and cook there. Okay, so take care and support all the, uh, support all the uh, restaurants. And this is Garrett. So if you want to book Norman, I'm going to leave a link to his Facebook page on the, uh, in the description. I'm going to leave a, a link to his uh, Facebook profile where you can contact Norman if you want to Bulgarian dress. This is Rodolphe Mountain dress. This is called Gaida, which is uh, like in Scotland you have also this, uh, how do you say it? Backpipe. Backpipe? Yeah. Yeah, backpipe. Here in Bulgaria you have also very uh, backpipes and actually a lot of people maybe they don't know, they, they send a satellite in the, in the, uh, in the uh, orbit, uh, not in the orbit, in the, in the cosmos. Yeah. And they put a Bulgarian uh, song on it, which, right. which is singing the, the uh, uh, Bulgarian yeah. here from the Rodok Mountain. So uh -huh. if some alien find it, they will have the Bulgarian song. Uh -huh. It's just out in the cosmos. I don't know if you knew Gary. Yeah, I, I knew. I heard something. And uh, this place over here, where we go now, you have fish here. Just right down here, you have the river <coughs> and all the fish, which they, what they have here. Um, there's no no antibacteries or something inside because the water is so cold. Yeah. Yeah. Jet pastries. So this is really this um, um, here the, uh, the fish. This is really there's not nothing inside. I mean, you can you see it uh, down down there is the uh, the river? Maybe you can go over there, Terry. Just behind the chair. What's this one? 